What's going on guys? I'm Violent with Grizz Zombies. Welcome to an Infinite Warfare Zombies video. As you guys probably already know, the MK2 bribes are over. The time is expired by the time this video is up. And I hope you guys got some good MK2 weapons out there. The gameplay you're going to be seeing is of the MavTac. I believe a lot of people have not been able to get this out of the mystery wheel. So I wanted to show some gameplay. I was doing some testing and I was able to get this weapon out of the mystery wheel. So. This is it in all its glory, and this is the first pack punch. Then I will have another upgrade coming very shortly of the second pack punch, so you'll get to see some good gameplay of that. But there were three packages that I got to open for the bribes, the MK2 bribes, and I did not get an epic variant out of either one of them. I did grind quite a lot of zo between zombies and multiplayer to get enough keys, because it was 60 keys at a time, 60 keys a pop, in order to unlock these bribes. It's just like Black Ops 3, they had bribes. I like the idea of being able to earn your weapons. It's very important to me. I don't like it being locked behind a paywall like many of us think the Quartermaster is evil. Well, it may be evil in certain ways, but for them giving us a chance to earn it, just like when they gave us free loot for the 12 Days of Winter, that was a Christmas event that happened. They gave us a bunch of loot there. It's not quite the same, but they did give you five opportunities to open these bribes and get MK2 weapons. They were of rare or higher quality. I did only get rares. So let's go ahead and take a look at all three that I earned. I do know in the game files there were variants in the zombie crate portion of these hacks, but we have not seen them come to light. We have to go to multiplayer to open these suckers. The first one that I did unlock is the DMR Summit, and it's a rare variant, so it's not that good. I don't like to collect rares or use them that often, especially for one that I already have an epic for. The second one that I did open, in fact, sucked as well. It was the RPR Evo. I don't really use this weapon, but when I do, I guess I'm going to kick ass with that, right? Ultimately, my goal with this was to get the Kaiken Oni MK2 version. It is very rare, and you can only get it through the supply drops. As you can see, I got the Amped. I did get the Amped version, but there's a lot of weapons out there, so I don't think a lot of people were getting that lucky. Some of you guys may have got epic variants. If you do, follow me on Twitter. I'll retweet you guys. Send me what weapon you got. I'm interested in seeing a little bit of what you guys can bring to the table. MK2 variants, I love them, but I also hate them, man. They're taking up space in my zombie crate loot system, and I really want that thing to be narrowed down so things are a little bit more prestigious. You guys remember when you first started playing Call of Duty, right? The camos and everything, they weren't so complicated. There weren't a ton of them, and gold was actually something that you wanted to achieve. Diamond was always the hidden thing, and if you saw somebody with gold camo in the lobby, you were like, damn, that guy's good. If you saw someone with diamond, you're like, man, he is a master of this game. Now we have this absurd amount of camos that <laughs> there's no prestige to it. There's no prestige element to it and it's sad. It's sad. Really sad, man. There is a lot of hate out there for Infinite Warfare Zombies. I think it comes from a lot of people not connecting with the game mode, specifically the characters. I know they don't have a lot to connect with right now, but we're starting to get a lot deeper with the storyline. There's a lot more that's surfacing the more we play Raven the Redwoods. And I'm sure that we're going to get a ton more information from DLC 2. I'm not sure what the map's going to be focused on. We know that DLC 1 here in Raven the Redwoods was focused on Willard Wilder. Here's another note for you guys. If you're ever playing solo, I highly recommend you hit that box until you get the Kindle. Get Bomb Stoppers. You can actually use this very carefully without Bomb Stoppers. But the Kindle is great for a backup. And it does go akimbo. You can't control it. It's going to be a Kimbo no matter what when you pack a punch it. But it's amazing, and it's a great backup if you don't have much ammo in your weapon. So I use that as my secondary for the most part, sometimes mule kick, depending on if I'm doing weapon testing. But you guys' gameplays may vary a lot different than mine. I like Infinite Warfare Zombies. I'm going to be a big part of the campaign, especially with patch notes. So you guys make sure you keep it here on my channel if you don't have anybody else that you're subscribed to that covers patch notes and keeps updates as we go through. And that's kind of what I like to do on this channel. So I'm very proud of where I'm at. We're approaching 9,000 subscribers. Actually, we, I think we hit it. We did hit it. And uh, fuck yeah, dude. It's been a long time coming. 9,000 is a lot. And I'm glad all you guys are subscribed to Grizz Zombies. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for sticking around my channel and being subscribed. You guys are the MVPs that make up Team Grizz. And I appreciate you guys being on the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comments below what MK2 weapon you got. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Violent out.